On December 25, 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope was launched from French Guiana. In less than a year, it has changed the way we view the universe. The telescope has obtained multiple images that have gone viral around the world. The images have tremendous resolution and sensitivity. The James Webb Space Telescope is the most advanced telescope in the history of mankind. The JWST is equipped with four science instruments, the Near Infrared Camera, NIR Cam, the Near Infrared Spectrograph, NIR Spec, the Mid Infrared Instrument, MIRI, and the Fine Guidance Sensor slash Near Infrared Imager and Slitless Spectrograph, FGS slash NIRISS. The telescope is designed to observe faint objects that are too faint for the Hubble Space Telescope, such as the first stars, galaxies, and exoplanets. The first photographs from the telescope were released to the public on July 12, 2022. These images show Webb at its very finest, fully prepared to continue revealing the infrared universe. Among them were pictures of Stevens Quintet, the Southern Ring Nebula, the exoplanet WASP-06b, Cosmic Cliffs and the Carina Nebula, and the stunning deep field panorama of the cosmos. These, however, were merely the first pictures taken by the James Webb Space Telescope, which has given astronomers a lot more stunning pictures of the universe. Astronomers and cosmologists have been perplexed by some of these images. The papers in question don't actually mention the JWST or its findings. They do, however, talk about the size and age of the universe. And according to these new papers, the universe is actually much larger and older than we thought. This contradicts the predictions of the Big Bang Theory, which says that the universe is expanding at an accelerating rate. So why is this causing such a stir? Well, the Big Bang Theory is the cornerstone of modern cosmology. It's what we use to explain the formation and evolution of the universe. If it's wrong, then everything we think we know about the universe could be called into question. Fortunately, the JWST data isn't the only thing we have to go on. There are other pieces of evidence that support the Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang Theory is the most widely accepted model of the universe. It postulates that the universe expanded from a very dense and hot state. This model explains a wide variety of known phenomena, including the abundance of light elements, the large-scale structure of the universe, and the cosmic microwave background. The Big Bang Theory is also consistent with the hubble lametz law, which states that the farther away a galaxy is, the faster it moves away from us. The Big Bang Singularity is the point in time when the universe began expanding from a tiny, incredibly dense and extremely hot state. The event marked the beginning of time as we know it, and it is the point from which all of the matter and energy in the universe were created. The Big Bang is thought to have occurred approximately 13.787 billion years ago, give or take a few hundred million years. Since the Big Bang occurred, the universe has been expanding and cooling. The expansion of the universe has caused the matter and energy within it to become spread out and diluted. As the universe has expanded, the matter and energy within it have cooled, which has resulted in the formation of stars, galaxies, and other structures. The Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe, the Cosmic Background Explorer, and the Planck Satellite has been used by NASA and the ESA to map the cosmic microwave background. The CBM is the thermal radiation that fills the universe and dates back to the epoch of last scattering, which occurred approximately 380,000 years after the Big Bang. The James Webb Space Telescope is not designed to see the very beginning of the universe. Instead, it is designed to see a period of the universe's history that we have not been able to see before. Although Planck, the Cosmic Background Explorer, and the Wilkins Microwave Anisotropy Probe have been all able to observe the universe farther back in time than the James Webb Space Telescope, the JWST will be able to provide us with a more detailed look at this period of the universe's history. The James Webb Space Telescope is the next generation of a space telescope, designed to image the first objects that were created as the cosmos began to cool following the Big Bang. That period of time is perhaps hundreds of million years later than the one the other satellites were built to see, says Dr. John Mather, a lead project scientist for the James Webb Space Telescope. As the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope will be able to see even further back in time, giving us a better understanding of how our universe came to be. Additionally, the telescope's primary mirror is nearly six times larger than Hubble's, giving it the ability to see much fainter objects. It is mankind's hope that the JWST will help to answer some of the most fundamental questions about our universe, including how and when the first stars and galaxies formed. However, the recent images from the telescope appear to be casting doubt on the legitimacy of the Big Bang Theory, which has been the leading explanation for the origin of the universe up to this point. Alison Kirkpatrick, an astronomer at the University of Kansas in Lawrence, is rethinking her area of study in light of recent discoveries. According to a few experts, the relatively small, smooth, old, and shockingly abundant galaxies are incompatible with the Big Bang Theory. 
Kirkpatrick is not alone in her questioning of the Big Bang Theory. Several other scientists have also raised doubts about the theory in recent years. However, most scientists still support the Big Bang Theory as the best explanation for the origins of the universe. The optical illusion of receding galaxies has puzzled scientists for years. However, according to the Big Bang Theory, this is simply an effect of the universe's expansion. As objects in expanding space move away from us, they begin to appear larger, not smaller. However, the most recent images from the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, seem to suggest something else entirely. These images show that galaxies are getting smaller and smaller, even galaxies with much higher brightness than mass than our own Milky Way. This suggests that the universe is not expanding and the redshift is not proportional to distance. Eric Lerner and Ricardo Scarpa have claimed that the universe is not expanding and that we are part of a non-expanding cosmos. Their claim is based on the fact that the redshift of the newer galaxies in the images is two to three times greater than the older galaxies. This is significant because it contradicts the concept of an expanding universe. The articles titled New Observations from the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, have called into question a key assumption about the standard model of cosmology, which is the theory that describes the evolution of the universe. According to the standard model, galaxies are thought to form from the repeated mergers of smaller galaxies. However, new data from the JWST suggests that this may not be the case. In a recent paper, astronomers Eric Lerner and Roberto Scarpa used the JWST to study the number of spiral galaxies in the universe. The distant galaxies in the James Webb data are some of the most distant objects that we can observe. These galaxies are so distant that they are seen as if they were 400 to 500 million years after the Big Bang. However, some of these galaxies contain star populations that are at least a billion years old. These results seem to imply that there was no Big Bang, and that the universe has always existed. This is a huge blow to the standard model of cosmology, which states that the universe began with a bang and has been expanding ever since. If this new research is correct, it means that we need to rethink our entire understanding of the universe. Recent observations of faraway galaxies have found them to be much smaller than previously thought. This contradicts the predictions of the Big Bang Theory, which says that galaxies should get bigger as they age. What's more, these new observations call into question the very foundation of the Big Bang Theory. If galaxies are not getting bigger as they age, then it's possible that the universe is not expanding as the Big Bang Theory says it is. This is just one of many problems that the Big Bang Theory is currently facing. As more and more evidence contradicts its predictions, it's becoming increasingly clear that the theory is in need of a major overhaul. It's been nearly a century since the Big Bang Theory was first proposed, and in that time, it has been constantly tested and refined. The latest version of the Big Bang Theory, known as the LCDM model, is the most accurate and complete model of the universe we have. It is based on three data pillars, the redshift of distant galaxies, the cosmic background of microwave radiation, and the relative abundance of elements in the early cosmos. The Big Bang Theory is not dead, and recent discoveries have not disproven it. These observations have revealed some surprising and unusual features about the cosmos, but that's all. The Big Bang Theory is still the best model we have for explaining the universe. It is still too early to say whether or not Lerner and Scarpa's theory of the non-expanding universe has merits. The data collected by the James Webb Space Telescope is not definitive, and more research will need to be done in order to confirm or refute this theory. However, the fact that this theory is contradicted by what we currently know about the universe does not mean that it is necessarily wrong. It is possible that Lerner and Scarpa's theory is correct, and that our current understanding of the universe is incomplete. Only time will tell.